Nat 20. Welcome back to A Deal with Demons. In our previous episode, our adventurers broke out a bunch of prisoners from the prison of a demon town where they were all being tortured. And they snuck them to the edge of the demon town. And right now, everyone's kind of trying to figure out a plan on how to utilize them or how to save them more properly. And then also how to get the prisoners from the next section of the depths from the prison camp area. Uh, Farron and Lazarus had just scouted ahead to see what was in the towels in front of them. And they found that there's a, they found the prison camp with one demon, a Blazow, guarding the entrance to the, to this large cavern. And they found a bunch of different offshoots from the tunnel that go to mostly just, to pretty much just dead ends or rock slides and cavens. And the rest of the crew just heard a large commotion coming from the from the demon town, because you can assume that the pr- uh, prison guard who you had bribed and charmed had returned to the prison is now uncharmed and found out what happened. So he's kind of trying to raise the town to try to find the people who did this. Well, actually, he knows who did it. He's gonna raise the town. Yeah. Why, why would he raise his own town? Isn't raise the town kind of like getting everyone, like... Yes, getting everyone Yeah, up. Oh, up. I, my mind went to R-A-Z. No. no. I was like... He's gonna burn the town to the ground. I wanna find these fuckers. Uh, so what is everyone doing right now? Arguing. Arguing. <laughs> arguing with Baron. No, Baron's gone. I'm yeah. not there. There's no one to argue with. <laughs> I'm just petting uh, Lovecraft and telling Ryan how much I... Hate this situation, Ryan. I hate this situation. Uh, yeah, it's not great, but I don't. Yeah. I don't really. What do you? What do you think? What? Sorry, you go ahead. Go ahead, Ryan. Well, I, there's no good solution, so let's just do what we can and try to keep as many people alive as possible. Okay, um, but you agree with me, right? Like that we shouldn't let them fight. It seems like suicide. Exactly. I just needed some validation. Thank you. (laughs) That's what I'm doing. Okay, (laughs) so I'll start with Lazarus and Baron right now. So you guys see this one, Balazel, Bolazel, that's right in front of you. I'll show you a picture of what they look like. It's this little guy here. Ooh, man. Okay. He's tiny. Rookie deaky little fucker. Is he standing there like that? <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> He's actually floating. Yeah. Alright. Um, I say, I go up and I sway him to our side with a little bit of a shoulder rub. <laughs> now, I do agree with the plan, but we should rest before we attack this place. As you do right there. I, I agree that this... In an opportunity that we can't, like, turn down. But also, how long will your charm person last? I can extend it to make it last double its time, so it can last a total of two hours. We can rest for a little bit. How long do we want to rest for? I'm feeling fine. I'm fine too. I don't need <laughs> rest. I'm top notch right now. I, I think he's, like, the only. The, he, we didn't have him use very many spells the entire time of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was charm person once. So. No, I also used Firebolt and like Gust of Wind. And... Excuse me? Firebolt what, is a cantrip. A cantrip, but I used Gust of Wind. Oh, yeah, and then you used Gust of Wind when we were in the Place of the Shadows. Okay. I was using spells. That's only two spell slots then. Are you still good though? Yeah, I'm still, I still have plenty. Okay. Oh, okay Unless fine. you can think of any other well, I mean, spells. We can look at this character sheet. I don't think I erased anything. Oh, dope. So, so I do agree that now would be the perfect time to sneak up. And sway him to our side, yes. <laughs> yeah. Let's sneak up, charm him. He can do some scouting in the place. And if we decide that we can attack right now, then we can. If we can, then we don't. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, Gage, I'm going to cast Pass Without Trace again. Okay. I'm going to cast Pass With Trace. Gage, I'm also going to do ten other different things while you're doing that. What is Gage doing? Hi, I'm... Hi, I'm Gage. He's taking I'm a dump. Dump. He's doing your mom. I love her. He's cut that, cut that, cut that, mom. cut that, cut that. <laughs> <laughs> There goes my mother, boys! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I almost made Zach spill his coffee. <coughs> Terrible timing on that. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know where your character sheet is at the moment. <gasps> yes! That's fine. That's fine. We'll just say that I cast Gust of Wind and Charm Person. Yeah. I thought I did more, but I think it was all cantrips. You saw bitch. I'm just kidding. I'm not sorry. I have a Death Star. Use the Death use Star it. Dice Tower. Join us in the nerdy side. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so everyone has. Uh, so you and Farron have passed the trace? Yeah, because no one else is here. Okay. Uh, and then. I guess. I want to sneak up as well because I want to get a good look at the camp. Yeah. And. I guess we just try them. Alright, you focus on the camp, I'll focus on the charming. Okay. Nice. Okay, just roll a stealth check, both of you, as you approach. Why did you tell <laughs> me to use you've, that? You've charmed him. I mean, you've, you've stuck up on him. Okay. I got a dirty 20. I got a 6. With that roll. <laughs> <laughs> that oh. is the same as my roll. I wish I had 20 because of that. Wait, how much does Castle Castle Trace? Trace? I yeah. got a dirty 20 because of that. How much does it have? 10. Holy fuck. Only rolled so I got 10. 16. Would you have like a plus seven? I rolled a four. Oh, so with all the bonuses, I had a dirty twenty. Wow. Awesome. Yeah, so you've stuck up on him and he does not hear you. Alright. Uh, at this point I will just go and I will just like slide my hands up his back onto his shoulders and I'll cast charms okay. as I whisper in his ear. Hello, friend. And what's the save? Fourteen. Wisdom. Got twelve. Yeah. And I will use extended spells so it lasts for two hours rather than one. Okay. And then I will just gradually turn him around. Okay. As you like, as you have your hands on his shoulders, he's like, "Is that who? Who is that?" It's me, friend, Farron. Ah, oh, Farron. I, I thought I recognized your typical shoulder massage there. Of course you it's do. Nice to see you. Ah, oh, it's nice to see you too, and I'll give him a little handshake. Okay. We have ruined demons. <laughs> <laughs> However, I'm here, I'm afraid... And you cannot understand anything that they're saying because it's in... in for- I'm afraid I come with more uh, dire situations. What do you mean, Farron? I need your help. What can I do for you, my yeah. friend Farron? Yeah, I need your help, uh, perhaps, scouting around this camp here. Yeah. Finding a stone, perhaps, that teleports you out of here. Ah, the teleportation stone. Yes, yes, I need that. <laughs> I need you to either retrieve no. that for me or find out where it is. Don't make yourself known, of course. Unfortunately, only the Shardana in, like, one of the Shardana in the area has that. And do you know where he is? Uh, not at the moment, no. Not at the moment. Would you be able to go out there and find them for me? I can try, yeah. Alright, I want you to go out there and number one, find him for me and make sure he has the stone. Number two, find a place of explosives for me. Okay. Okay. Uh, and number three, <laughs> find out where all your uh, comrades gather. Okay, and sure, yeah, that that's just in the two, well, the three little camp buildings up there. Well, that's actually mostly the Shardana. We're here, Wonderful. Right? Yeah. Wonderful. And, uh, of course, number four, is there any... How how many people are here? How many prisoners? Oh, uh, I have no idea the actual numbers. I can't count that high. That's okay. That's okay. Um, I will let your brain. Name's Jared. I'm 14. I never learned how to fucking read. I won't let your brain work too hard. Um, so find that stone on the man. Make sure he has it. Uh, find out where he is. Um, and find out where the explosives are. And find out where all these uh, guards gather during shift change. Okay. And what sure. time shift change is? Okay, so the shift changes are pretty much just for the Shardana. Like, the demons are mostly just here the entire time, because they enjoy what they're doing here. Like, who doesn't enjoy, like, the every once while torture, or the every once while just being the random people there? <laughs> and 
So, is there anything else you want to tell them to do? Uh, is there anything else we should be aware of? Perhaps any traps, um, secrets hidden around this area? Uh, not really any traps or anything. There's the big hole that I'm sure you're aware of just over there, and he points to the left side of the cavern. Of course, of course. Is there any uh, quick exit out of here besides the stone? Uh, no, that's pretty much the only way out. Okay, perfect. I need you to go start doing that then. Yeah, sure. I'll be on my way to do that. Anything for my friend Farron. Thank you. And he'll head out. So how'd it go? It went very well. He's going to go find everything we need. He's such a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> He's my bitch. That's what I have to hear. You can't, he got magically... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> he should be back, I don't know, with roughly sometime within 30 minutes, I assume. Uh, he's going to go find the man with the stone, and he's going to go find explosives, and he's going to go find when shift changes, and where the short Dana meet up for shift change. So there is a teleportation stone. There is, yes. So for a charmed person, does, does the... Does it end if they get injured no matter what, or if it's just that the companion's injured? Uh, I believe it's only if your allies hurt. If okay. it's allies hurt. Then you okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, if you or your companions are fighting it. Okay. Uh, okay, so are you guys just waiting for him to come back, or are you looking around too? Uh, I'll stay at the gate, but I'll like watch him to see where he's going. Okay. And kind of... Uh, yeah, I'll look the other way to make sure no one's coming into the facility. Okay. Uh, can I see how many guards there are, like, from the gate? Uh, or at least what I can see from the gate? You can see... What's your what's the range for dark vision? 60 feet. Yeah, I have 60 feet. 60 feet. Uh, so you're not able to see too far in. This, you assume this is a very large chamber. You can hear lots of echoes because of how large it is. Uh, right now, you only see, you only can see one guard, and this guard is a, another Bulazao. Okay. And it is just at the right side, just standing there, just kind of watching what's down in the pit. So you do see that the main area here kind of drops off to, not to a second level up ahead. Oh, fair, and I only see one other person here. They might be running a skeleton crew. Since yeah. they had the, uh, the city, that's pretty much their last line of defense. Why would they have all the guards at the camp? You also do see a few prisoners. There are, like, a few along the edges here. And they seem to be uh, bringing up buckets of things and setting down buckets of other things as well. Okay. And every once in a while you hear loud boom of explosions, and you continually hear the bang of picks or shovels or other stuff that would, like, be for mining. I guess I'll just wait and keep an eye on the, uh, the one guard that we sent off. Okay, and you saw him going along this way, and eventually it gets dark enough that you can't actually see him after. Okay, and you said the other guard was along here? Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, that's a good point. So you see him go past that guard, and the guard kind of turns around, looks at him, says something, he can't hear what he says. And then you see that guard slap the guard that was just charmed. And then that guard gets angry, slaps him back, and then just pinches on his way. And while this other guard is just looking off at him, like, what the hell is going on? What's going on over there? Uh, there was another guard standing over there, and they, you and your little friend, I mean, him and your little friend, got into a little scuffle, but everything's fine now. Oh, okay, good. I still need him. And what you see on the side is there's another guard. Or, um, uh, what's your dark vision range? Is it just, it's just from the yeah, range, right? Range. range, so I believe you said it's the same as having dark vision. Yeah. So it should be 60 feet. Yeah. 60. Yeah. Yeah, so you see one guard here that's kind of doing the same thing that he said, just kind of watching, and you also see prisoners along the edges bringing up things in buckets or sending them down in buckets. And at one point you see one of these is a person who is dead. One of them is dead? Yeah, like like in the bucket there's a dead person. Oh, do I see uh, the other buckets that they're carrying up and down? What, what, do I see what's in them? 
Uh, roll a perception check. I see dead people. <laughs> <laughs> Ten. Uh, you're able to see what they're putting in the bag to send down, and it's mostly certain types of explosives that you as well that you assume are explosives, some um, mining equipment. Uh, and yeah, pretty much, that's pretty much it. Okay. And when you see the stuff being brought up, you usually see it being brought towards that direction. Would I be able to sneak along this side without getting seen by that guard? Like, is there any cover at all? You sure you can try. Like, there are a few rocks... In... <laughs> there are a few rocks that are jutting out in certain places, and right. large uh, boulders that have just sat there for lots of time. Boy, for scouting, this sure are taking a while. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I mean, you guys are welcome to join us and not get spotted. And bring the dozen people you have. You went scouting, you're supposed to come back and get <laughs> okay, never mind. I mean, we can't go anywhere until this guy comes back. Don't wait for them, <laughs> now, So with that, I'll go back to everyone else who's just outside the city. <laughs> and so you hear this commotion in the city as you hear more and more footsteps going back and forth and this way and that way. And so far, none have gone in this direction. But you're starting to think it might not be too long before that happens. I guess I guess we should just take them then, eh, guys? Well, we can't go back, so we may as well go forward. Yeah, I mean, might as well just keep trucking on forward. Man, I can really use rest. Keep on keeping on. No, I'll lead the civilians towards where they went scouting. Okay. And Ryan and Aelendal, are you both uh, going the same way? Yeah, sure. Yeah, <clears throat> I mean, why not, right? Why not? Someone's got to save the party. Okay, so you continue on, and you go through these bends and straightways, going left, right, straight, down a little bit, up a little bit. And every once in a while you do see there are offshoots in these halls, but if, uh, if you investigate them, they don't seem to go far, and if and most of them that you have looked at don't go far at all and before their dead ends or where rock slides have happened and stuff like that that covered the entire cave. What if we uh, like split up and like put a little bit of everybody in like these different offshoots and that's where they rested and we just it's like kind of out of the way, you know, like how about that, guys? Tell us. I mean, it it could work, like. I mean, we if, can't all club in there. If the but... people from the town too come this way, that'll if they investigate those offshoots, they're probably dead. So, yeah, I guess so. I mean, hope I don't know. There's no guarantee we'll have like a good open spot when we get close to them. But that's an idea. We'll come back to it if we need to. But there are a few offshoots that you have looked into that seem to go further past. But it's up to you to investigate them or not. Oh, there's, I can, oh yeah, I'll investigate those. Okay. Hell yeah. Uh, all right. So all of these seem to go further past, but all of them do end in dead ends or rock slides or impair, in, impen, impenetrable barriers of some kind. Oh, so they all lead to dead ends? Yeah. Oh, okay. Then I'll keep going towards okay. where Farron and Lazarus hopefully are. Okay. Uh, is there anything that Ryan or Lazarus would like to do? I mean, Ryan or Ail or Nell would like to do as you're going this way? Nothing particularly. Just keep going. Okay. Uh, so eventually you make it to this area where up ahead you see Lazarus and Farron waiting, kind of near the edges of the cave opening. And you see that this opens into a very large area. Can I hit him uh, roll a perception check. Oh, With oh, advantage, because like there are 12. Yeah, oh, or 15, yeah. You're approaching. Oh, 20. Like, dirty 20. That 20. Yeah, you guys are easily able to hear them approach. I turn around, and I urge them to, like, crouch down. Like, shush. Okay. I just start shoving people over. When he does that, just okay. like, pushing them down. <laughs> Get low. Okay. Uh, I'll also urge him to like split towards the walls. Okay. Don't go into the dog, guys. <laughs> uh, shortly after this, your Balazo friend comes back, 
And you see with him, uh, you don't see anything with him that he had before. But he comes back to you, let him know what you asked for. And he says that, well, uh, so I went back to the main course for the Shardana. And right now the main Shardana guy who I've seen has the stone most often is just seen there eating his dinner or whatever right now. Uh, there, t- there's two other Shardana there with him just relaxing because it, I guess it's off their shift or break or whatever. Uh, and be- besides that area, there's not really any other areas where lots of people, lots of, uh, the demons or other Shardana stay at for long periods of time. Uh, oh, and I did bring back a few packages of explosives for you. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Uh, now, how many Shodana exactly are we dealing with? Yeah, so last time I checked, there were si- uh, six of them. <laughs> six. <laughs> okay. Uh, this will be easy. So, is there a way? Now, is that including the big bad with the stone? Yeah, that's including them. Okay. I'm going to need you to do one more thing for me. So. <laughs> Don't blow up these guys, because we might lose the stone. I, so, is the stone always on him at all times? Pretty much, yeah. He never puts it down anywhere, locks it away? Not that I've seen. Okay. Tell him to meet you. But I, I don't pay attention to him very often. He's kind of a doof. Tell him to meet you in a dark alley. No. <laughs> um, I mean, if, if the third Anna weren't helping us here, then we'd probably have killed them by now. This is their campsite, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's the top. All right. Now, how were the explosives? The rest of them? The rest of them? Uh, the majority of the... Well, they're, they're so, like stockpiles all around, kind of. Uh, People are carrying a ton of them down to the bottom of the mine here. And there's also some stockpiles at a few corners and edges of the this ma- main floor. And how many explosives has he brought? Uh, he's brought you four of them. Would that be enough to, say, break down a cave entrance? Say, right here? Uh, Crumble it, so... Nothing can come in or out. I think so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Where's the... Do you know the, the leader's path, the one with the stone? Uh, does he always just stay in that area where all the other guys are? Or does he walk around? And... I mean, it's kind of different. He does kind of whatever he feels like. Sometimes he's just chilling in his cabin. Other times he's patrolling. And how many are in the cabin area right now? Right now, there are just three of them. Three of them. Are you able to maybe get the other three in there? Uh, probably not, because it's not their shift change yet. Okay. Um, is there a way you can make it sound like a shift change? You know, bring the other three in, or say some sort of, uh, there's a, say, like a, a talk, or a, you know, like a, what do you call those things? Um, meeting? Meetings, yes. Uh, I don't There's think the word. I, I don't think they'd believe me because I'm not really a main guy here or main well, of the meetings or anything. For the man, the big man. What did you say the big man called the meeting? I can try. And you can try get that other three in there for me. But I'm gonna need you to direct the big man. Make sure he stays out of that zone. Okay, I, I can try that if you want. You can try that. All right. Yes. Very complicated. <laughs> Just, all I need you to do, let go around, find those three. Let them know that there's a meeting. Let them go and walk their way into that cabin. But is the big man right now, is he patrolling? No, the, the big guy is having his lunch right, or supper right now. <laughs> Here's what you're going to do. Get those three. Tell them that there's a meeting. All right? The captain's in there right now, so they're going to go in there, right? Now, when they're in there, I'm going to take these explosives, and I'm going to go, and I'm going to put them right here on this edge. Okay? Okay. Just because I don't really need them anymore. I just want to see what they look like. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. That seemed weird at first, but yeah, that makes lots of sense. Exactly. Now, when that happens, (laughs) I'm going to need to talk to your captain. 
So I'm going to want you to bring him out of that room towards me. We're going to have a little one-on-one chat. Okay, sounds yeah. good. Yeah, I, I can try to convince Just a friendly him to chat. Yeah. I want to get to know him a little more. Yeah. I know who you work with. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can you do that for me? Yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah. All right. Well, sure. I'm going to take just a couple of these little explosives here. I'll just take like a couple of sticks. Okay. And all right. Now you take those, put them in place, and then tell those three guards, and then take the big guy and bring him up to me. Okay. Sounds check. good. Thank you. You're the best. I love you. And <laughs> love you too, Farron. Wouldn't do this for any other dude. I wouldn't do it either. <laughs> By the way, you're... you kind of looks at your uh, the face of the demon that you're wearing. He just looks at it weirdly for a couple of seconds and then walks past. Okay, you look like my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot I'm still wearing that. <laughs> so okay, now here's the plan. Hopefully, if this goes off another hitch, he will take those three extra guards that are standing patrol, bring him into the cabin. Now, all six of them, there's only six of them, will be in there. He's going to bring the captain out so that I can have a chat with him. Now, he's the one with the stone. When that happens, there's going to be explosives at the entryway to the cabin. I'm going to blow that up. I'm going to shut down that entryway, and then you and I are going to tackle that captain, along with these dozens of people behind us. Wait, so there was a stone? Yes, there was a stone. <laughs> oh, sweet, sweet validation. <laughs> but no one's going to die. If this goes off without a hitch, no one will die. The, the timing is definitely going to be weird on this. Hey, fun fact, we're being chased. <laughs> no, 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 because when the three people go in... <laughs> we're going to ignore that? Okay. <laughs> I mean, we knew it was going to happen eventually. No, I just want, I mean, we can just, I, I thought we might try and deal with that a little bit first, but are, are we going to rest still? So we're, we're going to attack the whole town, or are we going to clear out this camp and then just leave? I know, but I, I'm i telling you, I will, I, actually, I'm pretty badass. I could probably be helpful even without my key, but. Thanks. That's me. I'm going to need your help. Well, I, obviously, when this captain comes out, I'm going to need you to subdue him real quick. I mean, I'm more good at, like, killing immediately than That's I am. That's fine. You can kill him. Oh, sick. I just need the stone off him. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'll just whip a few daggers and cut his head off and stuff. All right. Are you okay setting off the charges? Yeah, I got them. Wonderful. All right. You're going to do that. If you guys can lead the captain away from the, the mouth of the cave, I can just set them off with, like, a fire arrow or something. Well, why don't we, we leave the captain just, like, to where we're standing, right here, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Your friend will bring him over here. So, are you guys talking about this, like, back further in the cave? I yeah, mean, in the tunnel? Yes. Like, near where the, where, uh, Borknork and the rest are? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Borknork will pipe up saying, Okay, so, it sounds like you're doing good with, the uh, Shardana. Do you have any plans for the demons? Kill them all. Demons? Yes. This or, is not in my plan. What demons? There are eight Balazau here, including the one you were just chatting with. Uh, and a uh, Hazra, Hazra that's near the bottom of the mine, kind of making sure people do their jobs down below. And I might need to chop a second person here. Well, are the demons under control of the Shardana Borknark, or are they... They're working with them. So if we get rid of the Shardana, the demons... They're still going to want to defend the... The demons will continue what they're doing. Right, right. There's a partnership here that I don't know exactly why the demons are cooperating with them, but well, there's a reason. I still like the idea of just shutting off all the Shardana, and then at least we just have the demons to deal with, yeah. right? We can even sneak by most of them. While Farron and Blaze are dealing with the Shardana, the rest of us can just launch an attack on the demons That's and it. try and save everybody. Hold on, hold up. Unless... I still have his two sticks. You said you would set up the explosive with an arrow. But if afterwards, when the rest of them, they're probably going to go to that sound, right? They're probably going to go to the noise of the explosion. Yeah. Well, I'm assuming some. I mean, demons aren't completely dumb. Of They'll course. leave people behind to watch the prisoners. But at least some might go then. If they do, I can just light these couple of sticks and throw them their way. I can attach them to an arrow. You can attach them to an arrow, and you can fire it at them. 
Yes. You're planning on fighting nine demons, right? I would like to be at, like, full energy to fight nine demons. And I also didn't finish what else is here. There's oh, also... thanks, Mortgard, for the bad news. <laughs> <laughs> There's also a fair number of Oblex spawns. Last time I, when I was here, there were eight. I'm not sure if there are more or if they're larger Oblex seas now, but... There were eight when I was here. We really should rest before we do that. Like, I can't fight 17 things, guys. So it's too late, to rest while we have the town on our ass. You'd rather go in, like, half-cocked and fight 17 demons. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, nine demons and then eight Oblex spots? I'm just saying we're between a rock and a hard place right now. We don't have the time. We're trapped between death and death, not rocks. <laughs> we're fucked, man. It's a terrible idea. We should leave. <laughs> Come back another day. It's too late. I've already sent him on his path. All right, fair. Right. I mean, we could have him set the charges and everything, right? And then when he comes back, kill him and then leave. No one will know they're there. If the captain's coming out. Okay, fine. We'll kill the captain, lock off the Chardana, and then hope we don't die. At that point, maybe we can just be quick enough to hold off the demons long enough to get the people through the portal. There's the thousands demons. of people. I know. I don't want another gust of wind <laughs> like <laughs> spewing dead Please! Bones. What do you think, Illindel? Illindel, uh, Ryan, what do you guys think? What's, what do you think we should do? Illindel, Ryan, what do you think we should do? <laughs> Sorry, I know you're standing really far away, so I'll speak up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Come on, guys. <laughs> I I feel like you know what, dude. I I don't know. It, it, honestly, whatever happens, happens. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> You've s- cemented yourself as literally just a walking punching machine. <laughs> All right, Aaron goes down. Uh, Ryan, what do you think? Well, I don't see much else in the way of options, so let's. Let's do it, I guess. That's a point. If there was any way we could hide ourselves... Look, I'm uh, open to ears if there's a better plan. And wait for the town to leave. Like, we're getting chased by a mob, right? If we could, like, hide somehow... In, wait in one for of the... those dead-end tunnels. I'm just saying an idea! <laughs> <laughs> Put it out there, brainstorming! You know? Mind mapping, you know? Or, or, you know as much as I do... That going through this camp is the only way out. Fucking love it. Let's do it. We might be able to seal off the entrance behind us, too, and the people chasing us can't get to us. The only problem is if we seal off the people chasing us, like behind us, that's going to make a lot of baboons, or and, and then it's going to ruin your whole Shardana plan. No, no, no. We wait till that goes up first. So you want to go boom, and then another boom, boom and then fight the 17 <laughs> demons. Yes. Gotcha. I'm 100% okay with this plan, I guess. And then we don't have to deal with backup coming in behind us. Do we even expecting. have enough explosives for that? Yeah, so, probably. There's a lot of stockpiles here. A ton of stockpiles. You know what? I don't care anymore. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just start blowing shit up. At this point, you do hear the echoes from far away of sound of people walking your way in this cave. Do we have enough time? I like that. You assume it'll take mm, around five, like that. seven minutes before they get here? Do we Do we have time? To, do five or seven minutes is not enough time to set up that many charges to set up that total? I guess give me a couple of your arrows and I'll stick these sticks. We need another like person two. charmed. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> I can do that. Okay. So, listen, you know, Bork, the science orc, he's not, he's yes. smart enough that he wouldn't do it now if he was charmed. <laughs> oh my god. Give him a little, you know, what they call boost uh, of cur- a little swig of courage, and uh, he'll set those up for us. <laughs> Number one, I have gust of wind. I can repel those people in the tunnel away from us. Number two, I have hypnotic pattern. I can provide something very scary within this tunnel to drive them away. It can work. Oh, I hate today. <laughs> I can, within a side of 30 foot cube, within range, I can make uh, a pattern that appears for a moment and then vanishes. Save enough slots for 
the battle that we have in front of us, though. This has been the most stressful 24 hours of my life. (laughs) (laughs) So those are our options. Or we just collapse the tunnel. All those are very viable options. Uh, Borkberg, one question. Are there any Rudderkin? I do not remember seeing any Rudderkin. Thank fucking god, you guys. That was my one (laughs) word. It was a goddamn (laughs) Rudderkin. Don't worry, you'll just turn into something different this time. Nope. Oh, jeez, mother. Uh, no, um, if anything goes south, uh, it's like, put number one on the top of the to-do list, guys. Take care of myself. I'm, I'm tired of shape-changing, I'm not gonna lie. I did it twice, that's, that's the end of my life. Thank you. Let's do it. Let's, let's set up bombs. Bork Nork, set up some bombs. Uh, where would you like them set up? On the tunnel that, uh, where the people are coming from. Okay. And then... You'll die for your country. <laughs> I'm not saying they when they go off. Oh, good. A good idea. He's gonna die for his country. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I guess I'll toss Bork Nord as the sticks of dynamite okay. in my head. Okay. And then you and me have to go find this shard out dude. We have to find the captain. Yeah. Okay. And then you're gonna stay at a distance, right? And fire an arrow at those explosives once there's enough distance. This is such a fucked plan. <laughs> okay. Who's going to set off the ones with uh, Borknark? He's setting off the ones for the Shardana Tunnel. Who's setting off the one with Borknark? Borknark Bork has magic. He does? Okay. He so has cantrips he can use, but everything else is he can't. But he can light him up, right? Yeah. Okay. So we have to try and time this where we just set him off at the same time kind of thing? Once we hear one boom, make the other boom. <laughs> right. Let's go find... Here, you go meet him. I'm going to find a place near that spot to hide so I can get like a, a cool... So hold up. There's guards to the left and right of us. Sure, like, rather close by. I can... Mother of God. There's a new pl- a problem with this plan every and second. And fair enough, you look towards your direct- direction where the body was. Uh, at first they were carrying it towards the pit, but then you see they set set it down and you see something that looks like a jelly uh, wiggling its way towards it. And then you see, yeah, you see like this kind of thing just approach the dead person and it kind of just attaches itself to him. Nice. Um, and after that you see it grow a little bit in size, just slightly. And then after a while it leaves, and then the people carry the body to, well, continue carrying the bottle body that way. Did I see that too? Are you looking outside of the cavern? Well, I'm just looking around. So if you're like at the, well, I'm with Farron, so. Okay. Uh, yeah. Just roll a perception check. Not good. Not good. Not at all. That's a ten. Uh, you see the body being. Pe- Put down, and then you don't really see anything else. It's just too dark. That's pretty disturbing. What um, is it? What did you see? Um, that is this weird, like, jiggly wiggly thing that jiggly started, wiggly. It started consuming this body, and it made it slightly bigger. And then it, it, it went away. I wouldn't know what that is, would I? Or would I? Uh, you might, but that description is yeah, pretty not from the difficult. Jiggly <laughs> <laughs> wiggly ate something, got bigger. Yeah. It's very gross. It looks like a, a how do I like a sludge person? It's like sludge someone covered in in, in sludge. Yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Let's do other things. Right. Well, you might assume that this is obl- an oblax, which is what uh, Borknork had said about before. Yeah. You know what do I know uh, lots of stuff about oblax? Roll a history check. Twenty. Thirty. Twenty. Yeah. So because you have invest like done research into different. Demonology. Demonology and treasure hoards and mysteries and stuff like that. You have searched a fair amount about uh, mind flayers, and you have learned that mind flayers have created these things called oblaxes, or oblaxes, that are kind of like jelly type beings that consume the memories of others and like feed on mm. those memories. And it helps them grow, and they grow into larger 
shall eat sludges that that are more powerful. Can't they take on the form of that person at yeah. some point? Once they're strong, strong enough. Yeah. Well, that's fucked, because, like, even if we come up with, like, a secret code, like, they'll just know the secret code. Like, that's not good. What are you talking about secret codes? So, we, oh, the Oblexes, I explain what Oblexes are. Yeah. Uh, they can consume your memories, and they can take on your form if they're strong enough. So they can impersonate us, but the whole idea of, like, avoiding impersonation is usually to have a secret code that you can say to one another so you know that that person is actually them. But you do that, Oblex just knows the fucking code, so you're totally screwed. You don't know. Do you assume screwed. that any of us are going to die to it? I admire your confidence. <laughs> Let's blow some shit up. <laughs> I'm going to try and find a decent place to hide so I can sneak up on the Shardana cap. Okay. Uh, just roll stealth. I wasn't here for a pass out trees, was I? No, and I think the person would be over by now. Well, if you cast another one, it'd be done. Oh, it's okay. It is concentration. That's okay. That is 13. Hey, where are you going? What? Huh? Where are you going? I'm hiding. I'm looking for the Chardana due to that meetup spot, and I rolled stealth. 6 plus 7 is 13. 13? Not going to. Yeah, so you're somewhat stealth, and you're hiding in this uh, large area, in this mine. Yeah, if there's any, like, larger rocks, I can, like, kind of, like, crawl in behind, or... Yeah, so, and you'd be going that way. I don't know which way, okay. which way you do that. Yeah, it's, yeah this way, so I'm going towards yeah. this way for the okay. short Okay. Okay. Uh, you're fine. At one point, you see the Balazo that's in that direction turn around, but he doesn't seem to see you. Okay. So, I feel like... The three of us should just gang up on this guard, take him out, and then we can proceed with the plan. Oh, but I, or I just hid. <laughs> I just entered stealth mode. Oh, Look, yeah. you... I mean, if all three of us do it, it'll be quicker. Oh, we have two other party members here. <laughs> yeah, Alien Turtle and fucking Ryan. I was going to say them, but they don't have the pass without Trace. And honestly, Ryan has shit stealth. What is, well, what's your stealth, Tony? My stealth is plus two. Oh. So not it's not bad. That's pretty bad. I mean, mine's not terrible. I just... I don't have disadvantage anymore. I'm just not particularly well, What's your stealth normally, then? Hmm? Uh, what's your stealth normally, then? Plus zero. It's plus two? Plus zero. Oh, plus zero. Yeah, it's just a straight roll. What do you guys think? Well, I have plus seven, so I'm fine with any kind of still thing. Well, I'd rather we all stay together, so... Yeah, <laughs> that's fair. I mean, how attached are you to your spell slots? Zach, you mind casting another one so we're all under it? I don't have any more. Oh, <laughs> so <laughs> fuck, dude. No one has any spell slots, and we're gonna go fight like this. Oh, this is gonna be. Th- I'm seeing a TPK. You have like two spell slots. I don't. I have dude, I two. don't have any spell oh. slots I have first left. Level, but what I don't the frick? Yeah, this is just spell. How many spell slots do you have, Duncan? Not well. I have one third level spell left, but I've only got Magic Circle and Revivify. So you know, take that as you will. <laughs> this is gonna go so bad. <laughs> let's fuck it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, gang up on and Cal okay. has one first, one second, one third level That's slot, but also five sorcerer points. Okay. What are those equivalent to in dollars? Five dollars. <laughs> Depends on the exchange rate. Yeah, I think it's low this year, uh, it's this quarter. So. So I can. What I'm thinking is, Fair and I uh, and Blaze, we go up, we attack this guard, and then we get close enough to blow up that wall. We get the teleportation stone. The rest of the party stays at the uh, main. En- main entrance. As soon as they block off that uh, that cave, then we just move in. Then they can move in and take on the other demons. While we can try and get these people out of here. The goal, I think, is to get these people out of here as fast as we can. Yeah. Okay, let's do it because they're still approaching. Yeah. (laughs) So let's, like, set the fucking charges up. Let's explode this shit before they get here and it's all ruined. Okay. We're doing it, Gage. It's happening. (laughs) Okay. It's happening, apparently. Now just hold on a darn tune second. 
<laughs> no, I'm good actually. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. Hot diggity dog. Fuck, okay. So after a, another minute, you do you see the Balazel finally ma- start making his way back here? Uh, the tremble? Yeah, the tremble. Does he have the Shardana with him? Uh, you look ahead and you see that there's the Shardana, what do you assume is the Shardana captain and another Shardana with him beside. And as you see the Balazel hurrying towards you, he tells you, yeah, so uh, the other Shardana are on their way to what I said was a meeting. They were easy to convince for some reason. And but when I told the captain there was an emergency, he said he was he wasn't sure exactly, so he brought one of his mages with him. And yeah, that's him coming up here. Okay, well, you make the best of a, we'll make the best of a bad situation, but thank you. Oh, and I set those charges to you. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> wait, we wait. Set the tell, him to, down. tell him to fight with us during All this. All right. Look, I'm going to need your help. These people, these people you've been working with for years, they have been backstabbing you, okay? They've been working in a lie. They killed your mother. <laughs> I mean, I you know agree. Right? They're douche, douches, but they're helping a cause. No, no, they're, oh, they're working on a different like, level, okay? They're doing something very shady, very dark, that is un- and beneath you, that you do not understand. I mean, they're working pretty much for us. They're killing your own people. No, not really. No. Yeah. We've been told to kill them. (sighs) Right, look, we're going to need you to kill them. I mean, I'm fine with that. (laughs) 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 All right. Foxy. So you with us then? Sure. Go ahead. So I'll, I'll kill, like, I'll try to attack, really, I'll attack me. Look, just to give up this, once you kill them, you're in charge. He stops and thinks about this for a second. I don't know, the Her- Herzog, Herzog may want to be in charge, and I don't want to deal with them. You get to be in charge, you get to make your own hours, you get to decide what you want to do. No Until the Herzog attacks me and kills me. Uh, no, you'll be fine. You're we'll the defend Like, I'll... I'll Fucking attack the mage for you. I don't care about right. him. He's a douche. You take down the mage. Sure. All right, we'll handle the rest. But if you don't kill him, by the way, we'll be disappointed. I can't speak infernal. <laughs> by the way, how long until the explosions are set off? Uh, I, I thought you said you wanted to, uh, like shoot at them for them oh, to right. start. That's your cue, my man. Okay. Yeah. I definitely gotta get in sight. And how okay. far away are there Shardana by now? Uh, the Shardana are probably a hundred feet away. Okay. And then the, where you said the charge is still over here, is probably about four hundred feet away. It's gonna be a sprint. <laughs> you got this, I got your back. Okay. We're all gonna die. Old luck. once you hit the boom, you make the boom. Sounds good. Okay. And he'll run off. <laughs> so... Let's go take out this other guard. Let's do it. Alright, so uh, did you want him to like set the explosives like right here? Yeah, I told. I already torque? told. I don't think he was even with us, guys, because I told him to set these charges like immediately. So okay. he's probably setting charges. Yeah. Because we need it ready because they're coming in five to seven yeah. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> we can't keep talking to Borgdorf and getting distracted and set the fucking <laughs> charges, Borgdorf. Okay, yeah. Okay. He knows to make it go boom, okay? Yeah. He's a somewhat intelligent person. And he didn't do, like, right at the entrance. He did a, a bit further back, just so that the uh, prisoner, the prisoners you guys saved can still stand in the area. Yeah, yeah. He's, 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 a, he's, a, he's an okay intelligence guy. Yeah, Not as smart as me, but he's pretty smart. So I guess we're ambushing the guard now. <laughs> you don't sound too confused. <laughs> this was your fucking idea. I know, and it's... The most important thing the is when we start we setting commotion, those charges need to get set off right away. Those shoot down are coming through that hole. You guys cover me and I got it. I got you covered. I'm scared. Actually, right. I'm gonna... going to go in line with... Uh... Actually, never mind. What's your character's name? Lazarus. Lazarus, right. I'm going to go in line with Lazarus. <laughs> I was thinking... I don't know why I was thinking Aaron, though, but... Because I'm the um, greatest. Because he's just a cooler Aaron, though, basically. <laughs> I'm going to go in line with Lazarus, and anything that notices him or tries yeah. to attack him, I'm going to attack and distract away from him. Okay. So he can make that shot. 
I'm just gonna fucking hit him when he comes nearby like you told me to. Okay. So he's gonna take the captain. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna take yeah. the captain that gets him. Gets right. We got my 13 stealth roll ready to oh, sneak boy. attack. So and then I guess Arendelle and Ryan are gonna defend the people. If that's what you guys wanna do. I thought you were helping me fight the, the dude. I'm going to, but I'm making my way with him. <laughs> and then making sure he can make the shot. Once he does, I'm coming to you. To take on the captain. Okay, but like, let me get this straight, guys. You wanna t- you you two are gonna walk along here. Up and just come to a meeting spot and expect the captain to walk by you and be like, hey, what's up, man? Hey, I'm just going to go meet my friend over here. His name is Blaze. I don't know where he is. And then you're going to come back behind him and we're just going to gangbang him here. Like, he's not, he's not going to walk by you and be like, hey, what's up? What's up? Just going for a walk. Okay? Like, he's going to fucking fight you there. No, yeah, that's that's what's going to happen. Yeah. Well, then why are you saying stay here? I'll, I'll go with you then. <laughs> Yes, I'm uh, hoping you do. Oh, I thought you told me to stay here. No, 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 I didn't tell you stay here. I'm hiding behind the rock running. right now. And, uh, yeah. Right now, are you guys, like, great here still, or... I thought we were right here. I'm hiding behind a rock. Yeah, I know you're I'm hiding. Behind a rock. Uh, Lazarus and I are right here. He's yeah, we still have to go. Okay, okay you guys are... Yeah, you guys still aren't noticed yet. Okay. I'll, I'll hide, and I'll follow okay. them. Okay. We move up and ambush that... Demon there. I yeah, so I'm... can everyone roll one more self check? 17. 19. Are you have pass all the trace. Yeah. Okay, then. 18 plus 10. Yeah, you guys are all so you You guys are all good. Yeah, And it's actually your normal bonus and then also plus 10. And you're here right now. The guard's like right in front of you and you see the captain and his guard slowly approaching now. Yeah, so we're going to have to fight all three of them. Like, there's no way we can sneak up on the guard and then sneak up on the captain. Yeah, that's fine. Let's, okay. let's just gang him, dude. That's the plan. <laughs> let's just, well, like, like we're, we're talking who yeah. we're gonna attack first. Bruh, let's just, wait, like, get let him come to the door. We'll just give him the old fucking smack and we'll send him straight to heaven or hell. I don't know. Probably hell. <laughs> I don't think they're going to make it to the door. Anymore. We are in hell! <laughs> yeah, uh, I think there's a lower hell than this one. The only problem is we do need Lazarus to be able to shoot that uh, the other bombs. That's yeah. why I'm protecting him so he can make that shot. I have to get within 60 feet so I can actually see the fucking thing. Okay, then here's the thing. Here's the thing. We'll leave Borknark to explode that thing. And then all of us just go up and kill the captain. You don't focus on fighting anyone. You can go make that shot. We'll focus on fighting everyone. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, you're yeah, the you're Legolas of, of our crew. Yeah. This is exactly <laughs> what you are. Yeah, yeah you're like the Legolas. <laughs> I'm like Aragon. Blaze is like <laughs> like a Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, Aragon doesn't die though. I feel like you're more like Boromir. <laughs> yeah, oh uh, yeah, I guess That's so. True. Or like no, Gandalf. Honestly, Gandalf technically Lord dies. <laughs> if we're talking Lord of the Rings, mm, Blaze would Gandalf. probably be more of like a... Uh, I'm trying to think. Like, this he wouldn't be one of the main dudes, you know? He'd be like... Okay, are we going to do this fight, though? <laughs> I think... I, no, you're right. I kind of like being Mary. No, Mary's a pretty good... Oh, Mary's are we going to install this? Mary's like the... <laughs> okay. Like, honestly, all the Hobbits are pretty good, but Mary is like probably the... My, like, no, probably the least I, best out I of think them. you're... Th- I, I think you're thinking of Pippin, you know, the one who always no, makes mistakes. No, Pippin's awesome, dude. Pippin, the one who always makes mistakes and, like, Gandalf hates for no reason. <laughs> oh, okay, so maybe that is you then. <laughs> no, I'm Mary, because I know shit. Mary knows shit. Right, anyway, we're going to go fight this guy. Yeah. So I'll allow uh, the three of you to have a surprise round on this battle. Okay. So and I, you'll have adva- the first one of you that attacks will have advantage on the attack. I could charm him. <laughs> no, because you lose charm on the other one. Charm is concentration, is it not? It's not concentration. Oh! No, it's not uh, concentration. Why don't we give that a good old <laughs> shot then? Sure. How far away is this guy? The Balazo? Yeah. He's like 30 feet away from me. From the non-charm like, charm form. Yeah, he's like 30 feet away from me. Can now. you get to him and touch him? I can get to him and touch him. Touch Even him. if he faces me, all I gotta do is slap my face on him. All right, touch him. Make, right, make him our friend. Take my hand, and I'm just gonna plant it right on his face somewhere. Okay. And we can go, hey, bitch friend. Slap. Bitch slap. I'm moving up 30 feet right beside Farron. Okay. I am also moving up 30 feet right beside Farron. Okay. We're all walking directly side by side from each other in a straight <laughs> line, and then he just touches his face. Okay, you know you're not supposed to touch your the like faces, right? 
Got a okay, five. can we leave the coronavirus <laughs> out of the chat, please? <laughs> okay, he's charmed. He is? Yes. Tell him tell him to kill the Shardana. All right. He says, who are you? Hey, you, it's you scared me. I almost fell off this ledge. <laughs> I fell off the ledge. Oh, no, I went. No, I got fell off the ledge. We should just push him off the ledge. Do you s- turn around? Do you see those two Shardana over there? Oh, yeah, douche captain and douche. <laughs> Okay. Magic dude. Yeah, I'm gonna ask you to go straight. <laughs> Wait, how much influence do you have over these other demons? Uh, I mean, the other battles are were pretty much equals. Do you think you can get them on your side? No, just listen. Let's yeah. focus on this I mean, shit if right it's now. It's gonna yeah. just. No, uh, probably not. Alright, go kill them. Go kill them. Okay, sure. Yeah, sounds good. And he, and then I'm assuming you're sending your other battles out for yeah. Adam. Okay. <laughs> so they both go charge at them, and by now the Shredana captain and his mage are both inside and both see you guys as well. And they start running towards you guys. And they seem off put at the Balzow starting to charge at them. So, hey, what's that over there? <laughs> and I throw a fucking dagger at the captain. Okay, uh. If I can. I would say it would be an initiative, Fuck. just because everyone has noticed everyone. Everyone. Oh, so. so everyone, please roll initiative, please. Yeah. <clears throat> Twenty-one. Okay, just wait while I get this set up. Tony, Duncan, you guys are both here as well, right? What? Fighting what with did us. What you say? You're both fighting with us, right? Yeah. You came with us. Yep. Dope. Just making sure. And what are you guys doing with the um, prisoners? Are you just keep stay with staying no. with Borknark? Okay. Uh, they should fight. We should make roll initiative for every single one of them, Gage. <laughs> the ones that wanted to fight, I feel like... Should, should have stayed with Borknark anyway. And then we bring them to fight the demons. They're not... I feel like they're not going to come out of the cave, but, like, they're going to defend themselves. Okay. Okay, so... We're going to end it right away, but I'll just say initiative right now. And jot it down, and we'll go from there. So, Farron, what did you get? Five. Five? Fucking nice, bro. Big oof. Blaze? Twenty-one. Nazars? Twelve. Ailrindal? Ten. God. Ryan? Ten. Well, dude. Yeah, man, that seems... Guys, what the fuck? Ten out of ten. Holla. I'd high-five you if I could see you. Yeah. Internet high five. <laughs> Clap. <laughs> so Tell got a fifteen. Nice. The first Balazow got a one. That's not good. The second got a two. That's We're so good. Fun. The captain got a twenty. I'm still now twenty. I oh, fuck him. And then the mage got a four. What's his bonus for his initial? Yeah, I feel like now. Now twenty is always first. What happens when three people roll Then they discuss who gets to go first. I don't think he got an ad 20 blaze, so. <laughs> what a shit DM! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, with that, that is where we'll leave off on this episode of Nat 20, A Deal with Demons. Next episode, we will have the big fight and see what happens. Probably fucking. <laughs> oh, God. Or we'll just skip it and say that we won. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Bye. Ta-ta.